everyone today in this video we will learn how to enable a raid controller in dl20 g10 plus server also you can follow same procedure for ml30 ml10 dl20 g10 or models so here we will learn how to enable the raid controller so to enable raid controller you need to go in the system utility so press f9 on start then here in f9 we need to go in the system configuration here you can see after ILO there is no RAID controller if RAID controller is activated then it should show below the ILO so we will go in the BIOS platform configuration then here first of all we need to go in the boot options here you need to check the boot option first of all it should be UEFI mode and you can read that boot mode change require system reboot in order to take effect and it must be UEFI if it's legacy change to UEFI to enable the RAID controller so it's by default UEFI so you don't need to change here okay now in the storage option uh, go in the SATA controller options the SATA control option by default SATA HCS support is enabled so if you will press enter it will show you warning that Intel broke SATA rate controller is not supported when the boot mode is configured in legacy BIOS modes so we have seen before that there is a UEFI mode in the boot option so uh, now you need to choose Intel broke SATA support and please don't do this when there is a data in the hard drive then you need to just press F12 and now you need to reboot the server now server is rebooting now again server is starting so again press F9 to go in the system utility now in the system utility go in the system configuration now you can see below the ILO there is Intel ROG SATA controller now SATA controller is activated so you can see the hard drives you can create RAID also you can see there is two hard drive installed so here this way we can activate the RAID controller in DL20 okay so thank for watching the video